Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from GMG Studio. Today we will show you how to call native iOS code from Unity and pass arguments to iOS. Guys, it was actually pretty difficult to figure it out, but we did it and we fixed some issues. If you have any questions or problems, let us know in the comments. I've talked enough. First of all, we will open Xcode and then we press Command Shift N and we will create a new Swift package. Name it whatever you want. I name it native iOS code. Then we go to native iOS code tests and we just delete the first test because we don't need it. And then we go to native iOS code. We can delete everything which is in the struct and now we can start. We will create a static func run native code which will take input from a type string and we will just print hello I'm running a native iOS function your input was input with string interpolation. Then press command N to make a new Swift file and press enter to rename it. We will name it expose functions. Now we will write add underscore c decimal and name it native iOS code underscore run native code and we'll make a public func with the same name which will take an input which is an unsafe pointer of a C character and it's optional. We need this to print the string. I was going crazy because the app crashed several times. First of all we will check if the input is null with got let. If it's null we will print something and return. Then we will write if let string is equal to string validating UTF-8 double point input. And if so, we will call native iOS code run native code and pass the input. And else we will print wrong input format. Let's refactor this. Right click string and rename it to input string, which is more readable. Now this is it. This is basically our Swift package. And we made a function which can take an input parameter of the type string. Let's continue. Now open your terminal and write cd space and drag and drop the folder you created into the terminal. Let's check if we are in the right folder. And then run swift package generate minus xcode project minus minus skip minus extra minus files. And after that you can run the second comment which is xcode build minus project native iOS code dot xcode project minus scheme native iOS code minus package configuration release SDK iPhone OS and so on. You can find it in the GitHub repository as well. I will link it in the description for you guys. Now let's go to the Unity Hub, create a new Unity project. We will choose 2D and after it's created, we will make a new folder called it plugins. And in this plugins folder, we will create a new folder iOS and now we can track the created framework native iOS code framework into this folder. And now we have to check something. Yes, add to embedded binaries is applied. So this is fine. We go back to assets, create a new folder and name it scripts. And in the scripts folder, we will create a new C sharp script and name it showcase. Now let's open this C sharp script. First of all, we have to use system.runtime.interop services. Then we will check if unity underscore iOS, they are all uppercases. And if so, we write DLL import underscore underscore internal. They are two underscores. And we will write private static extern void native iOS code underscore one native code which will take a string input, which basically the same name as we used in the Swift package. Then we'll create a private void, run native iOS code, which take a string input. If Unity iOS, we will call native iOS code underscore run native code with the input and else we will debug dot log warning, no iOS device. And then in the start method, we can call run native iOS code and pass the input. Go back to Unity, Select the main camera, 
drag and drop a showcase script into add components press command c to save go to build settings choose ios switch your platform when build choose whatever you want just make a new folder after it was built the folder will open open the unity iphone x4 project go click onto unity iphone unity framework build settings disable the bitcode search for bitcode enable bitcode no click on unity iphone signing and capabilities change the bundle identifier to whatever you want i will just choose com.gmgstudio.poc.ios then click automatically manage signing enable automatic choose your team now we have to wait a bit then press command r or click on the run icon let's wait a bit build succeeded let's hope for the best guys well i know that it works and if we scroll up a bit we can see hello i'm running a native ios function your input was running native ios code from unity guys we made it this drove me crazy it was actually pretty difficult to figure it out because there's no documentation but we made it and i hope this video helps you if you have any question guys let us know in the comments see you in the next video like the video if you liked the video dislike the video if you disliked the video subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content we are also on instagram and facebook feel free to follow us there as well and have a great day start creating stop consuming